One year ago today, Super Mario 3D World was pu first published on Blue Graphite. This is the... yeah, this is a very special day. Um, one years old today, which is amazing. It's been an entire year of producing videos. And I thought, hey, let's do something special. Let's go back. Um, talk about... Uh, I, today I just want to tell you guys about, you know, the channel. Just tell you about how it started, stuff like that, right? Oh my goodness, what am I doing here? We gotta go here. Um, I'm not gonna be talking about the game very much, but I wanna talk about like how the channel started, like what was supposed to happen, why once what like some things maybe didn't happen, you know, stuff like that. Totally unscripted, so it's coming from the heart. I'm probably gonna get a little real, but that's okay. That's alright. Oh my god, one year ago. So that's oh, that's over seven hundred episodes and that's amazing. That's amazing, and I'm super proud. And I, I like, I'm proud of myself, and I'm proud of like, I'm just proud. <laughs> I'm just happy, and and it's because you guys, like, you guys with your support, a few of you guys have been here since like almost day one, and you've been here like every day since, and it's amazing. And even like the the few of you that came over from my old channel, which was it's super awesome of you guys too. Oh my goodness. Alrighty. Um, yeah, so I remember the day. Um, or I'm at, I imagine, I remember the year. In 2015, um, I kind of fell into this uh, big dip, I suppose, uh, where everything was just like kind of boring. Because every day is the same, like after like 2011. It was it was consistently go to, wake up, go to school, come home, make supper, do homework, go to bed. Um, that was pretty much it. Uh, for most days other than like the summers which were m which are my time essentially um, Just because I'm still in school and I work for myself so I can uh, I can do that right now um, So it was December 27 2015 and I was on Best Buy and I I looked around oh no when I'm bored I like to look around um for deals and stuff, because you know, you never know when that rare amiibo is going to pop up or something, right? So I'm always just looking around, seeing what there is, you never know what you're going to find. And on the home page, or in one of the pages, I saw that there was this product um, called the Apog HD PVR2 uh, on sale, and it was a big substantial discount, really, really big, and I thought about it, I thought like, do I want to, do I want to go on YouTube like this, do I want to put myself forward like this because like my old channel and stuff I didn't speak at all I don't speak I never spoke it was simply just really stupid dancing videos of cats that's what it was I'm serious and it actually did pretty well that's still going and stuff I don't post anything new on it um, and I had to make a decision because I'd been considering doing it for so long and so I took the chance. No. So um, it came down to as like there was only one machine left, and I had to make up my mind. And I decided, okay, you know what? I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna definitely try. I'm gonna put myself out there. Oh, I did it! Amazing. I'm gonna put myself out. No. What cost? Um. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I'll put myself out there. Um, in ways I've never done before. It was a big deal to speak in front of a mic and stuff like that. So I found all this stuff on sale, and then from the and part of the reason I even started the channel in the first place was because of some live streamers I watched and some and some YouTubers and stuff, right? Like, um, I think Sherwood Live was probably the biggest one for me, and I guess that's why I speak about him a little often. I speak about him often on on the channel and stuff like that but like I saw like the community that could be made and stuff like that and I like that I like that idea oh I really like that idea and I want to try it I want to get it I wanted to give it a shot and I'm still trying to do that right I'm still slowly slowly it's happening and I'm, and I'm very grateful for it I'm very grateful for you guys and stuff like that but yeah he was an inspiration for that for starting the channel in the first place for taking the leap and trying something new because he was trying all these new things and he was having all this stuff whatever okay um this isn't about that um so and then the tips I read said that you should start with a game that you like 
uh, because it'd be easier to talk over it. And that was Super Mario 3D World, because I, I love this game. I've played it like three times. I've 100% I've it twice, which is really cool. We did it once on the channel, right? Oh, I did it again. This is exactly what happened the first time. Oh, there. There. Um, yeah, so we did this, and originally it was like one... It was actually supposed to be a partnership. My brother was actually supposed to be involved, um, but... We couldn't reach an agreement on a lot of stuff, which was whatever, whatever, it's fine, it's fine. And um, so it became just me, which is why in like the earlier videos, early, early videos, and possible channel descriptions that can be found, I don't know if they can be, but um, it says your host, Nick, like, co my brother Cody was supposed to take a slot or just be involved. No, 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 oh, darn it, darn it. Um supposed to be involved and, I, and then I came up with the name Blue Graphite and stuff like that and so now I was on my own and um Blue Graphite was just because I wanted something creative and simple that sounded kind of cool like a you always hear like graphite pencil so Blue Graphite because my favorite color okay <laughs> that's enough of that um so yeah start out with one video a week which I thought was pretty easy it was like every Friday film for an hour and that's cool that's fine we got like that that's enough to make like almost a week of videos and that 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 sounded amazing to me and it became a growing thing like if you listen to the first episode and stuff like that it's super awkward even the first this whole series was awkward and that's okay because I was learning and I had fun with it and stuff like that right and then like right after the first week I decided you know what I'm gonna try my hand at doing something else I don't know have never done before by that I mean playing a game I've never played before, and that was The Witcher 3, and I hated it. Um, mind you though, it did have some really great moments that came out of it, um, and like it became a let's read, which was really, really funny to me. It's really funny. Uh, and But it it, 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 it showed me to like play not just games I'm only comfortable with and stuff, like, and then that happened with Digimon. Digimon came up next, and I was like, okay, you know what, I'm gonna give this a shot, and and then that's when I met a few a few new people, which was amazing, by the way. I love that you guys still talk and stuff like that. Like, oh my god. <laughs> it, it means a lot. It means a lot. And so Digimon was a big deal because it, it forced me to do voices and stuff and act sillier, right? Kind of like the Lumpy Space Fest and this thing. It was like, I like my sex at bottom. And, no, please. Oh my god, I can't believe that. Okay, um, yes, like like that, and it's it's definitely it was definitely an improvement and stuff like that. And then like Xenoblade started, and there was even more uh, like experts, you guys helping me out with every almost every game I play, which is amazing. And thank you so much for giving me this year to to do this. It was really, it was really, it's really really special to me all of this even though I know like I'm, I'm I kind of I bet it sounds like I'm making like a big big deal uh, like if you compare numbers and stuff it, it isn't too high but you know I wasn't I wasn't planning to go past like 20 <laughs> I really really wasn't like that was my goal for the first year was just like uh, 20 but yeah and I thought that was a lot and I don't, you, you guys have so much kindness and so much, um, respect, I guess, empathy, stuff like that. Like, you guys are blowing my mind every single day, and I'm always looking, trying to think of different ways that I can do a Let's Play and stuff. You know, because I know Let's Plays are all over the internet. I, I know this, I know. It, it, it's why, like, when some people make an intro video, they'll be like, Yes, it's another gaming channel. I know, but I'm having a lot of fun with it. And I don't think it really matters that there is that many or so many and stuff. But, like, the fact that there's a few of you guys... Like, every person that has commented in it or shared a message on Twitter or tweeted me or anything like that has been super, super nice. And... You guys should put... You guys should give yourself a pat on the back for it. And it means literally everything. It really, really does. Because honestly, you don't, at least I don't find such generosity out here. I don't find that. Oh, let's do this. Um, 
that's a rare thing where I am. And I don't know why it is, but it is. And, like, ever, any fear I had of going on the internet has been totally obliterated because of you guys. And that's a beautiful thing. And I'm... Yes, thank you. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. And then, like, live streams uh, happened last year. I did my first... Um, actual live streams like in person um because like usually i was behind the scenes of friends doing it and stuff like that but i actually went on my own and i did it and it you guys make those even more special even when i can't like edit out the bad stuff or anything like that you know like the editing bad stuff like the quiet stuff and whatever like i know my editing doesn't look that smooth yet or that good yet but I'm working on it. I'm working on it because I always like to show you guys as much stuff as possible. Because at least like when I'm watching any other Let's Player, I like to see all the stuff in between and hear all the stories in between. And that's what I wanted to share with you guys too. So basically I'm just sharing what I want and I think that's okay. And yeah, there's just so much we did. There's so many amazing series. Bloodborne was especially amazing because it was my first... Um, M-rated game on the channel. You guys showed me that I could play M-rated games on the channel. Wow, which is great. Um, because, you know, like, sometimes with the channel, you, you get stuck with, like, uh, a certain genre of games. Like, Pokemon, you probably won't be able to move away as easily, uh, to something, say, like, Smash Brothers or Minecraft, right? And... You guys show me that oh, I could play anything. I, I have a lot of support from you guys, for it, and you guys take chances just with me, too. And th yes, there is all these incomplete series and stuff, but, you know, it's okay. It's it's totally, it's legitimately okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you guys are wondering how to get that star, there you go. That one could be a little tricky. Uh, yeah, that it's okay. That there's so much to be okay and to be grateful for. That was a big um, theme last year, is gratefulness that you guys showed me, because, like, if you guys... W I'm not saying to watch it, because actually I'd rather you wouldn't, but, um, yeah, like, the Super Mario 3D World, I complained a lot. I complained a lot about really stupid stuff, and I did it repeatedly, and I feel bad for it, but you know what? I'm growing, right? I'm growing from it. Like, you guys t shared with me your own experiences as well about why I should be grateful and stuff, and I'm truly, truly grateful. And the people that I look up to, all these people I look up to on on like Twitter and stuff, they they are grateful every day, and that's amazing to see. It's truly amazing to see, and it's really cool too that like the implications that doing doing this YouTube channel has been had in real life. It's really cool because I'm in school right now I've been in school since I started right um, and I get to share and stuff like that get things off my chest things I don't do with anybody else in real life and you, you guys listen and it's really really interesting you guys give advice you give all this stuff and please stop no and it's really cool because this is um, really heighten my self-confidence a million percent and like uh, public anxiety and whatnot right like I can give a presentation now no problem impromptu just tell me to do it and I'm gonna do it and and one day we're gonna have and then slowly you could tell this year already that things are already starting to get like a little better and stuff because I'm getting more energetic, right? I'm no longer talking like this the entire time. Oh, look, here comes Bowser in his car. That looks pretty cool. Like, that's boring. And, and, and one day we're gonna be talking like this all the time. I'm gonna be screaming into a mic. And I'm gonna get there. And I'm, I'm happy that you guys are here to grow <laughs> with me. Like, it's, it's incredible. It's super incredible. And even like, there's so many people that I didn't expect to meet. Like, uh, I don't know who I was expecting to meet with this. I don't think I was expecting to meet anybody. But, you guys just, like, you guys are the good of everything. Like, I'm serious. 
there's nothing bad that comes from you guys. There's only positivity, and I'm really happy that that's the case that we have here. It's not like a, a negative thing where it's always just like, um, speak louder, don't do that, don't do this, don't do that. Um, like it's always positive, and it's always constructive feedback and stuff, and I genuinely appreciate it. Like things like last last June when I took that YouTube class, I asked for your guys' honest feedback, and I got the honest feedback, and I'm trying to change that stuff, and I have, right? Like not talking during cutscenes, not, not, um, I mean, trying to speak more clearly and and pronounce things properly, right? Uh, for the most part, although I take some liberties with some games, um, like electrocutionary stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Just thank you so much for a year. That's I can't just believe it. <laughs> like this actually snuck up on me. It, it truly, truly did, and um, it's been incredible. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna hug the mic, and you guys should. Can you, yeah, you feel that hug? Ah, I'm glad you did. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um. So on Friday, there's gonna be a live stream. Um. Yes, a live stream to celebrate the one-year anniversary. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna play some Super Smash Brothers. We're gonna be fighting against Roy. Pretty boy Roy. We're gonna be fighting against him. Uh, it won't count if we beat him towards any future videos or anything. I just wanna play. So we're gonna do that for a little while. And then we're gonna do some Super Mario Maker. So if you have your own courses, put them in the comments or tweet them at me and stuff. I'll play them. If not, we'll probably... I don't know, 100 Mario Challenge, something, I don't know. And then we're going to play, do a play along of Mario Kart 8, alright? Thank you guys. There's probably a graphic up with all that information, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this year. Last year, sorry, this whole last year. And here's to another great year, alright? See you guys next time.